Hello. Using rice because I don't have glass beads. And because she lost her marbles. These are one million grains of rice. And we're going to use them to show one million parts per volume. Would you like to see how much carbon dioxide is in the air? Or how much rice is in the air? I'll show you. 385. That, of course, is the year 2008 value, which is the year that she made this video. At the moment, year 2011, it's over 390 parts per million. I've colored them red. Imagine somebody sitting there counting 385 grains of sand. I mean, rice! Fuck me with a pogo stick. And then dyeing them all red. And then having them dry out just so she can pour them into a bowl. Lady, get a life! 385 parts out of a million. That's what 385 parts per million means. Yes, and if you compare that to how much carbon dioxide just in year 2008 alone that humans added to the atmosphere, that comes to 31.8 billion tons of carbon dioxide in just one year that humans put into the atmosphere. If you want to look at all of the carbon dioxide that humans have put in the a to, to the atmosphere, that's 334 billion tons. That's a hell of a lot of rice. Four percent of this comes from human activity. No, 39 percent comes from human activity. That's about 15 parts per million. No, at the end of year 2008, humans had put in 96.57 parts per million carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Pogo stick fuck me again. 105.57 parts per million as of year 2008. I was wrong. At the end of year 2010, it was almost 101 parts per million. <laughs> Fucking thing's not working. 109.78 parts per million as of year 2010. At the end of this year, 2011, it'll be at least 102 parts per million and it looks like it will be 103 parts per million. 113 parts per million, I mean. I need a new slide rule. 15 parts per million. She means 95.57 parts per million. Fuck me! 105.57 parts per million. <sighs> that is what is in question today. No, it is not. None of the experts in the entire world are questioning how much carbon dioxide humanity has put into the atmosphere. Unless they borrowed my slide rule. We can directly measure how much carbon dioxide we put in the atmosphere based on radioisotopes, for one example. Completely different signature than the natural background carbon dioxide that is taken up by Earth's oceans and the biosphere and then released again. Totally different. At the moment, 101 parts per million. No I mean 111. Fuck me. Not under dispute by any of the scientists out there. Only 15 parts. 95.57 parts. Damn me. Per million. Totaling 334 billion tons. Carbon dioxide from human activity. Thank you for listening. Nowhere in this lady's video is her point made. Why she would point out um, incorrect values for how much carbon dioxide humanity has put into the atmosphere. A mistake I would never make. It appears that she is making a case for not having to worry about the carbon dioxide that we put in the atmosphere because compared to the entire atmosphere, it's so small. You know the lethal dose for atmospheric cyanide for an adult human is um, 270 parts per million? 
much smaller than the carbon dioxide in Earth's atmosphere, and yet 270 parts per million can kill, and will kill, an adult human dead. Kill them dead. So if we're not going to worry about 390 parts per million carbon dioxide, of which about uh, 110 parts per million humans have put into the atmosphere, this lady doesn't have to worry about breathing in potassium cyanide either because, you know, it's only 270 parts per million that will kill her. Or, look at it another way, taking potassium cyanide orally, it only needs 200 milligrams. And at the moment, the average weight of an adult American woman is 164.7 pounds, which is, and I wrote it down, 74,706,660 milligrams. So, what's that parts per million of potassium cyanide if she were to take 200 milligrams of potassium cyanide? I made that calculation also, and if I did the math correctly, it is 0 0.37353333 parts per million. Much, much smaller than the carbon dioxide that human beings have put into the atmosphere. And it will kill her dead within minutes. People who are interested in how much carbon dioxide humans have put into Earth's atmosphere, and if they're interested in how we know how much of that carbon dioxide came from us, and how we know how much is being taken in by the Earth's ocean, can look at the link down here. And I have created a web page that I put on desertfile.org with all the URLs anybody would possibly want to look at to know the answer to those questions.